Hey everybody! So, I bought this lovely cast iron cauldron for my witchcraft practice back in October now. It is now mid-December and I have yet to use it, but there is a spell I've been wanting to do um, that this cauldron would be perfect for. And uh, so I'm going to finally season it today. And so yeah, today we are going to learn how to season a cast iron cauldron. So why do we season a cast iron cauldron in the first place? So there's a couple of reasons. One is it gives it a nice non-stick coating so that if you're, you know, using it for cooking or melting candles or herbs, you know, the typical stuff that a cauldron is used for, uh, it gives it that nice non-stick coating and helps it last longer, protects your cauldron. The second reason is just to prevent rust. Uh, we obviously don't want rust in our cauldron, especially if we're using it to make foodstuffs. So that is very, very important. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this is just three simple things. So you need your cast iron cauldron, obviously. You need a bit of foil, and what this is for is just uh, to prevent any grease from falling down from your cauldron onto the bottom rack of the oven. I'll explain in a minute. And then some oil for seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Crisco. That's one of the best oils to use, but you can also just use typical canola oil or even coconut oil if that's what you have. All right, so before we start prepping everything, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven, get that all set up. So you're going to want to set your oven to between 300 and 375. I'm going to go right about in the middle and do 350. So let's go ahead and get that set up, meow. Let's see. You always, I don't use the oven too often, can you tell? Okay, bake. 350, yes, start. Okay, our oven is preheating. And before I forget, actually do the... Don't do this at home, kids. Put the foil in before you turn the preheat on. But um, go ahead and just pop that foil underneath there, and that'll just catch any Crisco that drips off of your cauldron during the seasoning process. And keep it safe. Fire safety is very important, which is very important. It's like the number one rule of witchcraft. Fire safety. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to prepare our cast iron cauldron by washing it with soap and water. Now this is the one and only time you will ever let soap touch your cast iron cauldron. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and give her a good wash here. Let me readjust my GoPro camera. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, not that you guys need to see me uh, wash my cast iron cauldron with soap to know how to do it. I'm sure you know how to. Um, but here we go. Alright, whoop. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and get it a little soapy now. Just a little bit. Okay. Nice warm water.
was very catchy. Anyways, now that we have finished cleaning and completely drying our cast iron cauldron with soap and water for the first and last time, it's time to grease her up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little cloth for this. It's so hard for me to tell with the GoPro um, how much of me you can actually see because I can see myself on the front screen, but I know I'm seeing less of me than you egotistical does that sound? There's not enough of me in this frame. I'm gonna move the camera back a bit. Anyways, it was probably fine to begin with. But that's besides the point. Alright, so you can go ahead and use a paper towel or a rag, and I'm just gonna wrap Crisco on here. Just get a nice chunk of gunk on there. greasing we shall go. So you're gonna season all sides of your cast iron pan, okay? Well you don't have to do the outside if you don't want, but definitely do all of the inside and do the inside of your lid as well. That's very important. Oh, our oven is ready! But we are not, as usual, I am slow. <laughs> but you know, you know, I used to really kind of resent myself for how slowly I do things. I feel like I've always just kind of done things slow compared to other people. Like it takes me like five plus minutes to brush my teeth every night. And I'm not talking about including flossing and mouthwash, which I also do, which adds like another five plus minutes to the routine. I'm talking about just brushing my teeth. And there we go again. Thank you for the music lid, but not right now. Um, where was I? I lost my train of thought. That's another thing that happens to me. Should get tested for that at some point. Um, anyways. Yeah, so just brushing my teeth alone takes me like five minutes. And you know, I used to be kind of impatient with myself, but I, I like that I'm the type of person that kind of gets lost in my own head along the way. You know, I've come to appreciate that um, characteristic of myself. had some uh, interesting thoughts that way. And actually you probably do just want to go ahead and coat the outside. Um, take back what I said earlier. I don't know why I said it's you don't have to. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, you want to prevent rust on the outside as well, right? Not just the inside. I mean, yeah, the inside is where all the goodies take place, but you want your whole cast iron uh, cauldron protected. Ooh, this is getting slippery. Slippery little Susie. I don't know why I say weird things like that. I apologize if you came here just for like a simple quick tutorial and now you're watching some weird bitch uh, pretend like she knows what she's doing. I apologize. Uh, no, I did thoroughly research this before though. I read like five articles, guys. Like five whole articles. Um, but you know, sometimes it just helps to see it. And maybe for whatever weird reason, uh, my funky personality jives with yours and I'm teaching you something right now. So, hey, that's something. George Jetson is by Elroy. Seriously, if you've stuck with me this long, I am eternally grateful. We don't take ourselves too seriously over here. All right, she is all greased up, guys. So I'm gonna walk away for just a minute 
and wash my hands so I can stand to touch my camera and move the angle just a bit so you can see me pop in my beauty in the oven. I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back ladies and gents and everybody else. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, here's the spoof that Elias made the other day. So for those of you who don't know, spoof is this delicious sweet Arabic cake. Um, Lebanese cake and uh, it's turmeric. It's turmeric cake and it's very, very tasty, very healthy, and it's delicious as fuck. Anyways, alright, so our oven is good to go. We have our foil down there. Do not forget to put foil or a pan down there, please. I would be so, so sad if you burned your house down. Um, so. All right, now we are gonna go ahead and put the lid in first. Oh, she is a slippery little demon. Okay, go ahead and put it right there on the side. Okay. And we're gonna pop our cauldron in upside down. Just like so. All right, so goes. Now we are going to let that sit for one hour. Now very, very important. When the hour is up, do not remove your cauldron right away. Let it sit and cool off in the oven for at least about two and a half hours before you even try to remove it. It's going to be very, very, very hot. So again, I do not burn your house down. Do not burn yourself. <laughs> All right, so I will see you in approximately three and a half hours. All right, welcome back everybody. So our cauldron is done and I let it sit in the oven for an hour and a half. And then I very lightly touched it just with the very tip of my finger to make sure it wasn't still hot and we are good. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out now. All right, so this is what it looks like, all done. Okay. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, residue around the edge there because uh, my oven needs to be cleaned, but that's okay. We can just go ahead and give that a quick wipe down with uh, a paper towel. You know, I guess I should have put the foil on the same rack as the cauldron. Looking back, that's what I would do differently. Just put the cauldron right on top of the foil. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. All right. Try and angle this a bit better. Like so. That is not straight. But neither am I, so it's okay. All right, so that is our cauldron. It is good to go. Um, it does not feel greasy at all. It shouldn't feel greasy. It feels uh, nice and smooth, and it looks a lot um, more sleek and shiny, obviously, than it did when I put it in. So yeah, your cast iron uh, cauldron is now seasoned, ready to be used for all of your witchly needs. And in the future, remember, do not use soap and water. No need, just simply uh, scrub it out with some hot water. If there's gunk on there that's particularly tricky, get a bristle, a wire bristle brush, and use that to scrape off with hot water. And there you go, witches, blessed be.